Hey guys, it's me, Linda. If you are new here, hello, welcome to my channel. If you are old here today, I have with you the Ofra mystery box. It looks like this. And then of course, this is the other side with all the cool information on it. So I'm gonna probably, there's a cool little like seal thing here. So I'm gonna hope that, yeah, that didn't work. Anyway, I didn't open it until I finally got a minute to sit here with you guys and open it with you guys. Um, I got it yesterday, which would have been Wednesday, but I was super, super busy, so I didn't get a chance to open it then. It came pretty quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. The tape on here is a little better than I was thinking. They put tape, like, all the way around the pole seal, which, I mean, is probably good, but not good that I can't um, get into the box. So, I am still waiting for my purchase from Jamie Genevieve. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but she's a YouTuber, and she recently just came out with her own makeup line called Vive or whatever, and I placed that order on November 14th, and hopefully, if shipping is right, it'll be here by tomorrow. If not, then I will still be waiting. Um, I am super excited to get in and review it with you guys. And I'm so hoping I love it, especially for the price I paid. But anyway, I finally just got into this. It is looking like this. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be in a mystery bag. Huh, maybe not. So inside we have um, wrapping. And we'll go ahead and see what the first item is here on the top pressed powder perfectly perfectly pressed powerful pigments and it says in winter rose glow brighten the brighten that flash and make cheeks pop in our ultra pigment pressed blushes oh what is this a blush Press powder, but then on the back it says something about ultra pigmented press blushes with just a small dip in the pan. These blushes are perfect to create rosy glows or bronzy contour contours. Hey, and it shows you like a shade right there. So go ahead and pop this open and see what it looks like. I can never open these packages, man. So if I could get it out of the super like, tight box that it's in, I'll go ahead and show you what the shade looks like. But I literally cannot get it out. Leave it to me. Oh, by the way, I put on these like Nightmare Before Christmas nails. And of course my thumb popped off today, which is fine because I want to do like a Christmas nail um, anyway. So, but now the, the hard part is like getting the rest of these off. All right, so I had to totally mangle the box to get that out because I'm super special. Oh, it does say blush winter rose glow. So I don't know why this on the box says, oh, because it's a pressed powder. I'm guessing just because it's like a pressed powder anyway. And what does it look like? Ooh, that is glittery. And it is looking like that. Sorry, the lighting is superly not good in here. We'll go ahead and give it a swatch. Ooh. Definitely a powder. Oh, it's pretty though. I mean, I don't, it would be definitely maybe a darker blush for sure on me. It definitely has like a shimmer in it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see the sparkle in it. It's pretty powdery, unless I just went in with my finger a little heavy, but it's cute because it has like this mirror on it. Is there like a protection thing? Because it looks like a little not good quality oh yep yep <sighs> yeah so that's kind of cool but this mirror is like super tiny okay so that's the first item second item I'm gonna go ahead and pick up is the Ofra eyeliner in shade black and it looks like this which is pretty cool, not too bad. Um, I don't want to go ahead and open this and swatch it for you guys just yet because I do have quite a bit of eyeliners open and I would hate to like open that just for it to go bad. Third item I see in here is Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and it is in the shade Pas Pasadena, I want to say. And the packaging looks like this. Super cute, clean. Um, the shade is 
definitely a little on the darker side, more dark than like what I would normally wear. And it looks like that. Why I am bothering to hold <laughs> my hand behind it is beyond me. Anyway, I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Definitely a lot of product came out on that. Ooh, that's actually really a pretty, really pretty color. Smells good, like a lipstick for sure. Uh, liquid lipstick. That is definitely pretty. Actually, if you put it like on the outside and then like pat it in like a more nudie shade, this would look really cute. So item number four. Is there only four things in here? Yeah, so the one, two, three. So item number four is this black friday palette that's what it says on the packaging packaging is really pretty and then there is this little like sticker here we'll get rid of that oh how do i open it is there like oh okay okay just kidding oh it's that like pretty one okay so cute mirror moment inside of it that's not bad and these shades are definitely really pretty they are um like a smoky is that what you call it? like a smoky eye like if you're feeling for a smoky eye that isn't too bad sorry my lay is like up against the wall and like i have to look at you guys over here because again i'm not in my setup but this is a super pretty palette i'm guessing this is like for black friday because it says Black Friday palette on the back, and it says the shade names are Foil, Navy, Beeper, Smoke, Triple Black, a few other a, a few other shade names um, back there as well, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I will botch pronouncing it. I'm going to keep the seal on it, and I will go ahead and do swatches with you guys when I test the palette out. That is so pretty. Um... So, my thoughts on this mystery box. I wish I brought my phone down, which I brought my phone down, but I forgot I'm filming with it. Um, so, I could look at them. I don't know if it told you how many items you were going to get, but I got one, two, three, and four. So, I feel like for 20 what was it, $29, $30 for this mystery box, it was all right. My favorite things in it is the palette and the liner. I could probably do without the lipstick and without the blush shade that is borderline used as a bronzer if you want, but yet it's kind of glittery, so it could even be like an eyeshadow maybe. But overall, it's not that bad. It's not my favorite. I probably would have rather have gotten like Manny MUA's mystery box or like whatever, because I've gotten his before and I really enjoyed his last year. Um, but I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do the Oprah mystery box with you guys. I did get the cheaper one. This one was like 30 and they had another one too, but that was like 50 and I really didn't want to go ahead spending that kind of money on a, on a makeup brand that isn't my favorite. There's a whole lot of other ones I probably would splurge on, like Vive from Jamie that I cannot wait to get in the mail, hopefully tomorrow. If I get it, you guys will be seeing me again. So if you guys like this video, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe if you want, because it is free. It does not cost you nothing, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!